So you're looking to learn how to make a YouTube banner. In this video, I'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to create a banner for your YouTube channel using Canva. A good banner or channel art is something that can help you gain additional subscribers, as well as help you get leads for your business as you're gonna see later in this video. As we're going through the tutorial, I'll be sharing some best practices with you. Let's hop on the computer and start creating your banner. So here we are at our channel. You can see the, the banner that we have right now. So you can see it has our logo. It says helping entrepreneurs grow their business online, new videos every other day, it has a picture of me. And then you'll see along the side here, something you don't wanna forget about that this shows up on computers, but not on tablets or on, on phones are the links that you can add in the about section. And then I have here an arrow saying free training. So something to keep in mind here is this arrow and text does not show up in either the tablet version or the all screens version. And so I purposely put this way out along the side here so it doesn't show up in other places. And you'll see as we get into the actual tutorial how I did that. All right, so here we are at canva.com. Honestly, this online tool is really, really easy to use. You should be able to follow along with no previous knowledge. If you do want some additional help in learning, you can check out our Canva tutorial for beginners. I'll link to that up above as well as down below in the description. Also, I'll put a link down below to canva.com. This is our affiliate link. So if you do end up upgrading to Canva Pro, we might earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. So when you're when you're here on Canva, the, the first place to start is just typing in whatever you're looking for. So if you start typing you for YouTube, you can see it knows you probably want channel art and it comes with the right dimensions of 2560 by 1440. Click on that. And so here you are at a ton of different templates or you can start from scratch. And so you can scroll through and see if one of these templates looks good for you and then you can go and edit any of the, the elements here. But what I wanna show you today is how you can start from scratch. So click here and we just have a white canvas. And so how we can start out is we don't want it to be white, we wanna use our colors. And so I have our colors already saved. So the next important thing is to add the dimensions for the different types of screens. And so I'm gonna show you an easy way to do that. So if you click on elements, and then if you go down to shapes, you can add a rectangle. So the, the center piece that's shown on every single device is 1546 by 43. So Sorry, 1546 by 423. So the height is 423. So let's do that first, 423, okay. And then we wanna adjust the, the width to 1546. So 15, let's go with 40, it'll give me 47 or 44. Let's go with 44 so it's slightly smaller. Um, and then now you can see it's centered both vertically and horizontally. The next, the next shape or the next dimensions are for tablets. And so again, wanna add another rectangle. Let's just change the colors really quick to whatever, purple. It's gonna have the same height, so 423. And then it's gonna be slightly wider where it'll be 1855 wide. So we can stretch some over here and then add the rest on this side to 18. 56, close enough. And then again, let's make sure that we center it in both, both directions. There and there, okay. And so the easy thing to do here, or actually what I wanna do now is we can change the transparency. So if you put it somewhere around 50%, do the same thing here, there, okay. And then change the transparency to this, 50%. You can just use this and start to design. So anything on this side will show up on computers. This part will show up just on tablets and this part shows up everywhere. The thing that you can do here that's another way to see all this very clearly is if you go to view and then you go to rulers, you can essentially drag lines onto the screen that, that does the same thing. And so why don't we do that really quick? three, four. Okay, so we've got all those now. Honestly, you don't need this shading anymore. We can delete those and you can see perfectly every screen has this, the tablets have this, and then computers have this. And then so if we go back and look at the banner for our channel currently, here's what it looks like. Let's start to create something similar. 
Also, let's just change the name. So the fig co channel art. Okay. And so the first thing is to add my picture. So you'll see here, this is a picture without a background. The one thing I want to show you just really quick that's really, really easy is if you go to remove.bg, you can remove the background from an image for free. I have a tutorial video on how to do it with this as well as other tools that I'll link to up above as well. But really all you need to do is grab an image, drag and drop it here, give it a couple seconds. You can see I did this a second ago. It takes a second to upload. And then what you'll see is the original picture the picture without a background, and then you can download it right here. But being that we already have that, we don't need to do that again. Here's the image we wanna use. And now if you drag the corners of my picture to figure out where we wanna place that, let's not cut my head off. So something like that. And then along the side, say right there. Okay, so there's me on screen. The next thing would be that we already have uploaded is our logo. So obviously we don't have, want something quite that big, probably um, something like that and put that about right here. The next thing is kind of the, the about you or about your channel. So the thing is, so if you're watching a Canva tutorial video of ours, you might think our channel is about design, but it's more broad than that. It's about helping entrepreneurs grow their business. And so we wanna tell anyone who comes to our channel page what our channel is about. And so to add text, you just hit T and then you'll see you have an option to type text here. You can change the, the font, the size, the color, put it in bold or italics or whatever right here. But we use Open Sans quite a bit. And so what we can do here is say helping, helping entrepreneurs grow their business. Okay, Help. and then so we have the text here. Obviously we could align, we could align at center, we could align at right. Let's see, how, and then if we just, we can either drag the corner or we can change the font size right here. Let's see. Something like that. I don't know, do we like that or do we want to? I think centered is probably better. Okay, so something like this. Maybe slightly smaller, so let's change this to 36. Okay. And then the next important thing is just let people know how frequently they're gonna see content from you. And so something you'll see on a bunch of creators' channels is, is basically how frequently they create videos. And so I've been putting up videos every other day, so let's tell people that. New videos every other day. Let's now get this out of the way for a second because I want to then create a box that has this in it so that it kind of separates that from the other text. Oh, the other thing here is I do wanna put this in bold. So let's do that. So this is the, mo this is the more important piece than the how often I put up videos. And then if you go to elements, you can again create a shape like this. I don't want it to be green. Let's change the color to white. Okay, so let's just shrink this down. What we'll do here, let's change the text to our blue like that. And then let's get the size down. So something like So if you have two elements like this, and obviously you want to align those better, what you can do essentially is if you click here and go to position, so you can have them position both in the middle vertically, as well as centered, and then you see it looks like something like this. What I could do now is, I don't know, maybe I want this in bold as well, but then I think I probably have to make the text a little bit smaller. And then again, highlight both, go to position, middle, center, something like that. And then what I, what I can do to make sure I don't mess this up later is I can go to group, and then now both of these things are going to stay together and move as one. And so let's add this right below here. Again, one of the things, so I probably wanna make this just slightly smaller, maybe the logo 
a little bit smaller. And then again, let's, what you can do, there's a couple different tricks for aligning things. So again, let's highlight all of this, go to position, and then you can space evenly, so vertically. So if I do that, there are these three items are spaced evenly. And then what I want to do is center all of them. So there you go. So you can see here is I probably want to move them all up just a touch there. Okay, so basically what's gonna happen now is any screen that someone's on is gonna see me, our logo, helping entrepreneurs grow their business online, new videos every other day. If you're on tablet, you would see these additional sections. And then as I showed you before, there's a, a links along the side if you're on your computer. And so what we could do again is hit T for text and say free training. And then I wanna put that off to the side so say right here, but even probably smaller than that. Something like that. So I have free training that only you're gonna see on your computer. And then I was looking at this before and have this arrow that's already in recently used. Um, but again, if you go down to, no, sorry. Go down to shapes and see all, or you can go to search and just say arrow. Oh, I got an extra R. Try that, and then you see you have a bunch of different arrow shape, a bunch of different arrow shapes that you could add easily to your designs. And so, if we just get rid of this again, you'll see the frequently used. And so, this is the one I think I had used just when I created originally. And so, obviously, this is way, way too big. So let's shrink that down. The other thing that you can do is, so you can obviously, you know rotate it like this. Um, but then the other thing is, so this is the curving the wrong direction. So you can go over to here to flip and then you want to flip along the horizontal axis. So nope. So you want to flip vertically like that. And so we want to say free training and then have an arrow down. And then again, you're not going to see the arrow in the tablet version. It's still a little bit too big. Something about like that. So here we are with what the, the YouTube banner is gonna look like. If I wanna get rid of these grid lines now, I can just go back up to view. And then if I get rid of guides, that's what it's essentially gonna look like. So now that we have the finished channel art, click on download. PNG is fine, click download. Okay, so here's our channel art. And then now let's go back to YouTube. And so you can either click on this image here or if you click on customize channel art. And then once you're here, you wanna go to branding. And then this is where you would update your profile picture or your banner image. Click on change. Then let's, here's the channel art, go to open. And then so you can see here, this is what shows up on all devices. This is what shows up on desktop. Looks good to me, click done. Click publish. Okay, change is published. And then if I go back to the channel and then if I refresh the screen, so that's the updated YouTube channel art. So now that you learn how to create your YouTube banner, it's time to create amazing content and grow your channel. If you wanna learn how to rank videos in YouTube search, check out our YouTube SEO video right here. If you wanna learn how to make amazing thumbnails using Canva, check out the video below. Until next time, bye bye.